Hi hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I have recently released the pro version of my color frame render add-on and in this video I will show you all the new pro features and in case you are wondering what is color frame render add-on anyways, it is a wireframe rendering add-on and it allows you to render out colorful wireframes for your models in just seconds. So without wasting any more time, let's open up blender and see the add-on in action. So here I have this really cool model from Sketchfab. It is a free model. The link for it is in the description below in case you also want to check it out. And we will be using this to demonstrate the add-on. So let's jump back into Blender and hit the preview button to initialize the add-on. As you can see, there are no colors right now. So let's select all the objects and hit this random colors option. Note that we did not have any color palette copied to the clipboard. So it's using random colors. So let's change the seed value to get different looks. It's already looking pretty good, but let's make it better by using color palettes. So the first pro feature is the ability to save color palettes so let's copy a color palette from coolers.co and i really like this one so copy url come back into blender and hit this save color palettes option let's input a name let's name it light green and hit ok and now you can use this color palette in any of your projects so let's use it right now select all the objects and from the palette drop down select the newly created light green preset and hit random colors and it's already looking pretty dope but let's change the seed value to get different looks and i really like this one so let's go with this and the next pro feature is the ability to add metallic shading to certain parts so let's do that so let's select this material for the object and hit this metallic checkbox and it will automatically make it metallic let's also add it to these objects by using the same method and now we have metallic shading on those objects note that this is per material based so any faces which have the similar material will get similar shading so just keep that in mind now let's change the wireframe opacity let's uh, increase it a little bit you can also decrease it and this also looks pretty good but let's increase it back for this time let's also change the wireframe color you can also go completely white or completely black but i like to keep it somewhere here and next let's change the background color and give it a slight tint of green so let's do this and now it's looking perfectly good and once you are happy with it you can simply hit the render button to render it out and hit this view renders option to view it in the file browser and it looks pretty dope so that is basically it for the add-on i hope you liked it and if you did you can grab it from blender market for five dollars till 12th of march and ten dollars after that the links are in the description below so please go check them out and i'll see you in the next one